The spectrum analyzer mode has three sub-modes. In order to move from one sub-mode to another, you need to press the spectrum analyzer mode button. The first sub-mode is called a spectrum one out of three, in which we can see the spectrum trace in the middle of the screen and the measurements in the top part of the screen. Now, if we press the spectrum analyzer mode button again, we will move to the spectrum two out of three screen, in which we can see the spectrum trace again, in the top part of the screen the measurements, and now in the top right part of the screen the TV demodulated picture. If we press again on the spectrum analyzer mode button, we will move to the spectrum three out of three screen, in which we can see only the spectrum trace. So you can use the zoom mode that is more suitable for your line of work. Now, let's see some additional functions that we can get access to by pressing the soft keys below the screen, F1, F2, F3, and F4. When we press F1, this menu rolls up. Here, you can set the frequency value where we want to place a marker. You can select whether you want to move along the frequency horizontal axis by frequency or by channel. If we select by channel, we will need to choose, as well, which channel plan we want to use according to the region where we are working. Once selected, when moving the joystick left or right, we will jump from one channel to the next in the same order as they have been defined in the channel plan selected. Center frequency is defining which frequency we want the meter to center the screen on. Reference level will set the maximum level shown in the vertical axis. Same thing can be set just by moving the joystick up or down. Span will change the span used in the spectrum analyzer. Same thing can be done by moving the joystick left or right while the top right green square is showing SP. Finally, center tune frequency will use the current main marker frequency as the center frequency. So the main marker will appear now in the center of the screen. When F2 is pressed, this menu is rolled up. This menu is showing all the modulation parameters corresponding to the signal we are currently tuning. In case we know that the signal we are tuning is none of the ones listed here, it is recommended to use the generic type of signal in order to perform measurements over the special signals with narrow bandwidth. In that case, the meter will allow you to select the signal bandwidth so that the power meter and carrier-to-noise measurements are as accurate as possible. When F3 is pressed, we access to special advanced tools, which we will study in detail later.